Hey, it's Sol, with a quick guide to the Warcraft Rumble crossover event that just dropped in, World of Warcraft. You can do me a favor by hitting the like button, subscribing for more of the WoW coverage, and let's get started. Your first stop is the mailbox. You'll get an item that starts a quest and prompts you to go to the Warcraft Rumble machine over in Valdraken. Just head to the second floor of the inn. Once you go through the little intro, your task is to locate a handful of coins and foils. Then return to one of these machines to turn these items into seven collectible toys with three variations of poses for each. In this guide, we're just going to focus on obtaining these coins and foils. I'll have coordinates available in this little visual guide, but to help yourself out too, turn on your interact key icon using the settings. It'll help you fine tune where to click. It's an easy start over in Valdraken. You'll find a coin and a foil inside the inn. It gives you a good idea of what you're looking for, just like these little baggies. Now get out of here and head west towards the Time Rift event area. Up in the sky, on one of the floating islands, is another coin and foil conveniently sitting next to each other. Now progress west towards the Tuskar fishing hole. Next to the fishing hole is a big old pot. You land on it and you'll find a foil there in the bush. Now head south to the middle of the Azure Span and the Tuskar fishing hole there for another foil near a tree. Then progress all the way west, past Tuscara, on an elevation overlooking a few boats. Nearby is another coin and foil. Now head north to the Anarn Plains, but keep yourself far to the west, where part of the Dragon Isle side campaign had taken place. A foil and a coin are awaiting for you right there. Then head east to the Tuscar Fishing Hole for another foil. Now go north and towards the Waking Shore. You're going to the Lava Fishing Hole southeast of the Obsidian Citadel, and on a small elevation is another foil. Now head northeast and to the Lifebinders Conservatory. On one of the towers is a foil and a coin. Finally go south towards the last Tuscar Fishing Hole for one more foil on the Dragon Isles. That's going to take care of this continent. Now you just need to get a few more foils and coins in Ogrimmar and Stormwind. These items, by the way, are account tradable, so you can hop onto a faction-friendly character to get these remaining items. By now, you're noticing that these aren't exactly secret finding or secrets of Azeroth level kinds of hunting. Over in Ogrimmar, you actually want to leave the city proper and head to the airship dock to the east of the city. At the base of this, you will find a foil. Inside the city, you're going to find another foil and a coin if you just check outside of the auction house in the Valley of Strength and inside the nearby inn on the second floor. In Stormwind, you're going to find one foil just inside the city gates after you turn right. Now you want to head over to the docks. There's another foil by a set of cannonballs and a coin just down the stairs. That should be it for all the collecting and all you need to do now is turn them in. However, I want to give a bit of a word of warning. There have been reports of quest turning bugs where the quest would kind of eat one of the foils and then you'd no longer be able to turn in one of the quests and then you just wouldn't be able to get those achievements. So turn these in at your own risk. I myself didn't notice this bug and was running around all crazy thinking that I missed something when it was in fact just a bug. For now though, we're going to leave it at that. Please hit the like button if this was helpful, subscribe for more coverage, catch me live on Twitch, and I'll catch you later. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. Thank you.